Good morning, Greater Latrobe. In the WCAT TV studio, Amara Rogers alongside Nick, Nick Melizia and these are your morning announcements. Greater Latrobe football minicamp will begin today from 3 to 5.30 p.m. through Friday, May 25th. Any returning player or interested player in grades 9 through 12 should attend all practices as we prepare, prepare for the upcoming season. See Coach Mariko in room A9 at the junior high school for any questions. The AP Biology Summer Assignment can be picked up in Mrs. Hoop's room, S108, this week. Attention graduating seniors. Are you looking for work this summer that can give you experience and make you money? Vector Marketing has positions available in customer sales and service that offer a $7.50 per appointment base pay. Please stop in the 1112 office to pick up more information or visit Vector Marketing website at vectormarketing.com. Any student who did not purchase a yearbook and still wishes to do so may buy one on Tuesday, May 29th, starting at 7 a.m. in C-102, the yearbook. Books will be $100 and must be paid with cash or money order. No personal checks will be accepted. Payments must be in full to get a book. No additional books will be sold prior to May 29th. The high school girls soccer team will be hosting a spring informational meeting tonight at 6 p.m. This is for any girl interested in playing soccer next year. See Coach Morrison if you have any questions. There will be a National Art Honor Society meeting on Tuesday, May 22nd at 7 a.m. In, in room F201. We will be back after this commercial break. Approximately 6.5 million animals enter shelters each year, and over 500,000 people in the U.S. are homeless. These stats are what help found the Open Paws, Open Hands organization with the goal of helping animals and people in need in our local area. The organization is looking for supplies to donate to the Action for Animals Humane Society in Lake Trobe and the Union Mission Homeless Shelter in Loyal Hanna. They need your help. By donating the items on your screen, it will help animals and homeless people in our local area. Donations will be collected until May 25th and donation boxes can be found in the cafeteria, commons area, gym lobby, and junior high corridor. The organization will be selling bracelets during all lunches for $1. That prescription drug sitting unused in your bathroom could pose a public safety and public health risk. Unused or expired prescriptions disposed of improperly may get into the water system or be a target of those seeking to feed drug abuse habits. According to the Federal Drug Enforcement Agency, studies show that a majority of abuse prescription drugs are obtained from family and friends. Make a difference in our community by going to the Latro Police Station and disposing of your unused prescriptions. A drug take back day will be all day today at the Latro Police Department. It is a great opportunity for you to drop off expired or unused prescription medications in a safe environment. Seniors, be sure to check the Senior High webpage for all document, document or commencement information. Now here's Emily Weaver with the weather report. Thanks, Nick. Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome back from the weekend. Today we can expect to see a high of 79 and a low of 62 with some thunderstorms. Sorry, softball team. Tomorrow we can expect to see a high of 75 and a low of 60 with scattered thunderstorms. And Wednesday, we can expect to see a high of 74 and a low of 56 with yet more isolated thunderstorms. Maybe if we get these storms over with, we'll be safe for graduation. Well, it's officially time for me to sign off. Thank you all for listening to the weather and sometimes even wrong predictions. It has been a great year with you all, and I hope you all have an amazing summer. That's officially all for Weaver the Weather Woman. Back to you. Thanks, Emily. The Greater Lake Trobe Hockey Club is hosting their summer tryouts beginning on May 22nd at 7 p.m. in the Center Ice Meeting Room in Delmont. Varsity and middle school on ice sessions will follow. All players interested in playing on a team next year are required to participate. Registration paperwork and USA Hockey confirmation are required. Contact Mrs. Rossi with any questions. There has been a temporary change to the after-school library hours. The library will be open after school today and Thursday this week. It will not be open after school tomorrow. Please remember to sign up on Ms. Rebel's website if you wish to stay. Lab Talk collection for all grades starts on Tuesday, May 22nd and will go through Wednesday, May 30th. 
Please return all laptops, chargers, and ECAT equipment to H122. Any student who would like to free Jennerstown Speedway tickets, please stop in the athletic office and see Mr. Mears or Mr. Hyde. There will be a meeting for all girls in grades 9 through 12 interested in playing girls volleyball next year on Wednesday, May 23rd at 6.30 p.m. in the bag room. Please join the coaches as they discuss the upcoming season, summer schedule, and booster organization. Parents and players in are encouraged to attend. Adam Pizignani has made a very big impact in Greater Lake Trobe School District. Here is Bo Ruffner with today's student spotlight. Whether it is on sports teams or clubs that benefit the school, Adam Pizignani has set a great example as a leader and a role model. So being the oldest of four, I certainly have to set a good example for my siblings. Uh, I think I've done this by taking offices in certain different clubs, um, president of student council, treasurer of NHS, and a few other offices that I hold. And I think that shows my siblings that it's important to be involved and that they need to constantly look for new ways to become more involved in the clubs or sports that they are part of. Adam has worked hard everywhere, whether it's on the court or in the classroom but he also is very good at using his time wisely. Doing both sports and staying well qualified in your academics, you need to have good time management. Um, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have late nights, but you can avoid a lot of them by working ahead on some of your homework and, by, and still make all of your practices. Adam always wants what is best for his team. Throughout Adam's years of sports, he has always been recognized as a great teammate. Even if his playing time was not significant, he was always cheering and rooting on his team. The biggest part of being a good teammate is just constantly supporting your teammates. Uh, you can't look for ulterior motives like rooting against your teammate or hoping someone gets hurt so that perhaps you get more playing time, but instead really see the big goal of winning the section or winning a singular game um, instead of hoping what needs to happen for you to be more successful. Next year, Adam will continue his success by going to the Notre Dame Holy Cross Gateway program, and after his first year, all his classes will be at Notre Dame. He will either study engineering or pre-med science, and will continue to be part of many clubs. Reporting for WCAT TV, this has been Nick Malizia and Mara Rogers. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Stay tuned for Kid in the Hall. My dream vacation would be to go to France. Hawaii. <laughs> My dream vacation would be to go to Vatican City and to meet the Pope. I want to go to Hawaii, where the ocean is. I want to go to Paris. My dream vacation would be to Ireland. And mine is to go to Italy. My favorite vacation is uh, Egypt. Alaska. I think I've already taken it. A couple of summers ago, uh, my wife and three kids did a tour of the American Southwest. Bora Bora. My dream vacation would be Tuscany in Italy on a beautiful sunny day. In fact, anywhere in Italy, I want to eat my way through Italy.